Good morning, everyone. So I hope you've had a wonderful week this week, looking at all of our Welsh things for Ice Deathford. So today is World Book Day, as you already know. So we're going to do a few little activities relating to that. Okay. So my first slide I'm going to show you is lots of different um, book covers from some of my favourite stories. Okay. As you can see we've got the Gruffalo, Five Minutes Peace, Giraffes Can't Dance, What the Ladybird Heard, Poe in the Zoo, and Fred the Lonely Monster. Now, all of these book covers have lots of things in common. They all have a title. They all have the author's name. Some of them have the illustrator's name as well. So that's the one who draws the pictures on the inside. And they're all very colourful. They also usually have characters from inside the story. And it might give you a little glimpse as to what the story might be about. Then we have blurbs. Now we should know what blurbs are from our guided reading sessions. So what is a blurb? A blurb is the text on the back of a book and it's a summary of the story. It aims to get the reader to really want to buy or to start reading the book. Kind of grabs you in. Okay, so I've just got three blurbs here. Uh, we've got our first one. Who's that singing on the savannah? It's the top five ugly animals in Africa. The wildebeest, the warthog, vulture, hyena and marabou stalk. Swagger proudly across the savannah, rejoicing in their ugliness and delighting their babies who think it's perfect just the way they are. Okay, so now it makes me read it. The ugly five, who on earth are the ugly five and why are they singing? The next one. Harry Potter thinks he's an ordinary boy until he is rescued by an owl. Taken to Hogwarts, Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, learns to play Quidditch and does battle in a deadly duel. Reason? Harry Potter is a wizard. Straight away, it makes me think, how can he get rescued by an owl? What size is this owl going to be? Where's Hogwarts? Is there such thing as witchcraft? Who knows? And the last one, which is one that I like to read at home with my little girl. There was tiger poo, lion poo, prickly porcupine poo, plummeting giraffe poop that landed with a splat, dollops of new poo, bouncy kangaroo poo, a trail of drippy droppings from a fat wombat. Zookeeper Bob is exhausted. There's too much poo in the zoo and he's the one who has to scoop it up. Then one day a mysterious glowing poo appears. Could it be alien poop from outer space? And what on earth will Bob do with it? So straight away it makes me think, what's so special and unusual about this poo? I want to read on to find out some more. Now I have given you some examples of my favourite storybooks. What you've got to do today is think of your favourite book, okay? It could be from when you were little, from your when you're this age. It could be a book that you enjoy reading to your mums or your dads or brothers or sisters at home. It could be a story that I have read to you or another teacher. What I would like you to do is create a new front cover and write a fantastic blurb to match on the back. I'm looking for bright colours, characters from the story definitely need to be on the front cover, full sentences that have punctuation and short details about the story's plot. Okay, Those are the four things I'm definitely going to be looking for in your picture of your front cover and your blurb at the back. We have been looking at Iron Man and the cover of Iron Man is really, really boring. It's a plain black and white picture. So I think we need to try and make ours even better. Good luck and I'll see you soon. Bye.